Why do offensive coordinators use short motion? Why should we care about short motion? What is short motion? You're probably asking yourself all those questions by clicking on this video. What's up guys, what's going on? Max Brown here, former quarterback at USC and Pittsburgh, here to bring you another football video. And this week we are looking at short motions. I'll start out with why I wanted to make this video. This topic came up in a previous breakdown I did. Appreciate all you guys watching those. And I realized that this specific topic is widely used amongst offensive coordinators yet I've never heard it talked about in a TV broadcast. And the broadcasters that are covering the biggest games, there are some of the brightest minds out there. But this specific aspect of football, I've never ever heard discussed. You might also be asking, what is short motion? Die. What? Red seven. I don't know what red seven means. Hot route. I don't, what is hot route? Will you just go stand on the other side, please? <laughs> Why am I specifically saying short motion versus long motion? Long motion isn't really a thing. Motion in football is something I think every football fan knows. It's when one receiver, running back, or tight end moves from one side of the football to the other side of the football. I would just call that straight up motion. You learned that back in recess. But short motion specifically, I would say, is any kind of motion that allows a running back, receiver, or tight end to move, but keeps them on that same side. So you're the receiver on the left side, I motion you, you're still the receiver on the left side, but you either got farther out, or you've got a tighter split closer to the offensive line and the quarterback. That, to me, is short motion. It can be moving three yards, it can be moving three inches, it can be moving five yards. You see all sorts of different variations across different offensive coordinators, but I would say most coordinators use short motions in some capacity. Sometimes when you watch football, it kind of feels just like a random thing that players are just doing, like, oh, Tyreek Hill, he's shuffling in three yards. Oh, that's kind of cute. No, there's a method to the madness. Football is a very particular game. There is a reason each player is doing what they are doing. And so in today's in this video, we will look at the two main reasons offensive coordinators use short motion when they call plays. And I might throw a little mini third one in at the end. But like I mentioned, I discussed this topic in a recent breakdown, so I'm gonna kick it back over to that breakdown in which I looked at how Steve Sarkeesian used short motion to get Devontae Smith, potential top five pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, how he used short motion to get Devontae Smith open. Let's check it out. Alabama's just gonna short motion uh, Devontae Smith down. And anytime you see that short motion, right, the average football fan kind of just sees it and thinks it's just a little, uh, he's moving in five yards, like whatever. But it's not whatever. It's very calculated in an offensive coordinator's mind and especially a quarterback's mind as well. And you do it for kind of two reasons. One is to tell the quarterback, use it as a data point, and tell the quarterback, hey, is this man coverage or is this zone coverage? Based off how the defense reacts, that can tell you a lot. The second reason, and uh, I come from kind of the, the old, the Lane Kiffin, the Steve Sarkeesian, the Clay Helton kind of thought process of calling plays, and I know they did it because when you have premier receivers, it's a great opportunity to soften up these coverage. When you move a receiver off his spot, the corner has to move with him, and naturally when that happens to defensive backs, they soften up. That's just the reality of kind of how defensive football works. It's hard to get a motion and stay really tight because you might have to run over or behind different coverages. And so naturally just de defenders get a little softer. So that's why you would do it. And anytime, and you'll, you'll mostly notice it with stud receivers, premier, you're the dude receivers, they'll do this. You won't always have kind of a random guy doing this type of motion. There's a rhyme and reason to it. Always kind of keep an eye on that. So I mentioned the two main reasons you use short motion is one as a data point for the quarterback to recognize whether it's zone coverage or man coverage. And the second one was to soften up the DB. And when you're an elite receiver, it can be a useful tactic to give yourself uh, some room to breathe and get a favorable release off the football. But in addition to those two, there's a few other ones that I should at least mention to bring this point full circle. In addition to short motion softening up a defender or a defensive back, it also can give you favorable leverage. When you are on the outside and you short motion inside more, that obviously forces the defensive back to move as well, change his leverage. He might have been on the outside shoulder of you, now he's on the inside shoulder, he may have been square up with you, and now he's inside leverage. That six inch difference certainly matters when you talk about whether it's a completion, incompletion, and matters more and more with every level of football you climb up to. Short 
motion also is just another way to get into specific formations. You see it a lot of times with bunch formations where it starts with just two receivers and then you, mo you short motion a guy in to have it be a bunch set. It's just different ways to get into formations and along those same lines, anytime you're moving, it forces the defense to communicate. And that's the last point I wanna leave it on is especially when you're facing young, inexperienced defenses or defenses that bring a lot to the park, right? They bring a bunch of different blitz packages. They ask their defensive backs and linebackers and defensive ends to be interchangeable. When they're asked to do a lot and then they have to process what the offense is doing as well with these new motions, that can be a lot to handle. It's very easy for the offense to navigate. Hey, just squeeze down five yards or so. But for the defense, that could completely change their defensive call. So anytime you're forcing defenders to communicate, potentially leads to confusion, which is advantageous for the offensive side of the football. So I challenge you, next time you're watching a game, whether it's NFL, college, you'll see it at both levels, pay attention to when receivers short motion. Ask yourself, why is the offensive coordinator doing that? It could be for the pass game, could be for the run game. That might be a video for a different time, but there's a reason they're doing it. Might be a good little test for your football IQ. But there's my two cents on short motion specifically. If you enjoyed this video, consider hitting the subscribe button down below to not miss any football content. And if you wouldn't mind smashing the like button, really helps this channel get off the ground. But thanks for checking out this video. Looking forward to more football content, and I'll see you back here next time.